Okay, this is going to be a quick video about um, what I've had to go through since I actually updated the firmware on this uh, Good Luck Buy gimbal to the open source version, um, which I believe it was running, it's running a r Russian version or something when it comes shipped. But anyway, um, and it was working great. I just wanted the tilt function to work with the Phantom transmitter. So, um, what happened was is I, I uploaded the gimbal software for the open source thing and then it kind of sucked. <laughs> I found a, a version of the Alex MOS um, and tried to put it on there and, and it just messed up the whole board basically. Um, what I did is I, I guess I corrupted it by pulling out the, um, it was just st being stuck on the X loader. So I pulled it out and I guess that corrupted the bootloader, you know, in, in here. So, um, so now I'm just going to show you what happens um, when I try to go to Arduino um, and upload or actually put a new bootloader on here. Um, and what I've done here is, is this is a USB ASP. It's basically what you would update the KK2 board with, only it's wired in. Um, the way that this guy had set it up um, and you can see that there's about 10 pins and you got to set them up and put them into the certain spots on this board there's no reset button on this board I don't know why but anyway um, so I believe I have this correct and I've got everything installed this is Linux I'm using so anyway I'll go to um, Arduino and it should be as easy as uh, just you know going in here to, to the board and making sure the right one's selected and it is okay and then the programmer which is the um, USB ASP which is that little thingy jig right there okay and then you would go um, burn bootloader right and let's see what we get right away so was it saying it's saying um, cannot set SCK period and that's that happens to be one of the, the pins and that's a pretty common error but it's saying that it can't do anything um, I don't know I don't do Arduino very well I'm, I'm not very good with hardware and that's really what this is um, so I'm kind of stuck right now um, Jeez, I wish I could figure this out because I really want to use this gimbal. I can't even get to it. I can't even talk to it through the USB. And now I can't even talk to it through the, AS, the USB ASP. So if anybody knows anything about this, um, I'd be really happy to be enlightened because I'd like to have this thing back. And I can get the firmware, I guess, back to, to what it was or even the open source. I just got to get this thing so it has a bootloader. Okay, thanks a lot.